It should be good to go. All right, so welcome back to another video of The Shack Show. And in this video, I'm going to talk about bluefish last season and kind of how that affected the summer fishing. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of go through like everything from like what I like to do when I'm fishing for bluefish from the surf of Cape Ann and also uh, everything that happened and why it did in my opinion. And uh, again, a lot of this is just more opinion based, but just so I guess everybody knows, we'll do a little backstory here. I'm a surf fishing guide on Cape Ann. I've been surf casting Cape Ann for 10 years. Uh, and pretty much I would say about seven years ago, the fishing for bluefish was fairly similar to what it is right now. But between that time, it was bad fishing for bluefish. And if there were bluefish on Cape Ann, it was like a badge of honor to be able to catch one, even if it was not a very big one. If you caught a bluefish, uh, that was a very impressive thing to do. So it was interesting to, to me that this season went from one season of or many seasons of not catching fish. It had been many, many years. I think it was probably 10 years, seven years. Well, I'm trying to think. When was the last time we really had it? Um, yeah, it was probably about seven years since I like had last caught bluefish consistently. And uh, it was one of those things where we were like, thought that they would never rebound and we'd probably never see them again. And we thought that was mostly based on the fact that the water temperature uh, temps around here were very, very cold. And a lot of the time, if you got bluefish, they were offshore. Uh, but it wasn't a very often thing that you'd be able to get them on shore. And if you did, it was Jeff definitely like a first light type bite. Uh, around first light, you'd get out, you could fish like pencil poppers, or you could fish maybe some sort of a, a minnow plug if you really wanted to. And you could get bluefish doing that. Uh, and when the bluefish are feeding aggressively and they're big, which they were this year, it was it can be a lot of fun. And then eventually you're like, okay, where are the bass at? And so really kind of the side of this that I wanted to talk about was the fact that us having bluefish impacted the way that the uh, striped bass fishing was. So I, I would say for the past three years, um, I've been extremely, extremely productive on top water for fishing for very large striped bass. And I caught a bunch of extraordinarily big bass on top water. Uh, some of my biggest bass ever on plugs have been on top water plugs. Uh, and I've caught some bass that are close to 50 pounds on top water. I mean, this year I caught alone, just this year, I had a bass that was 49 and a half inches on a pencil popper this fall. So like there's some big fish and I know that there's other guys that caught bass that were like 55 inches long and shit like that, which is crazy for uh, for Cape Ann and really anywhere to catch a bass that big on top water. But there was, I know personally of like four people that caught 50 pound bass this season on top water. So in my area, which is like, there's not a lot of people that fish around here. So the fact that that many people caught that many big fish is really, really impressive. But all of this happened in the fall. None of this happened during the middle section of the year. And for the most part, and generally, our fishing is best during the middle of the year for topwater, in my opinion, just because you have these very consistent, uh, very, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess the, the word that I would use is consistent, very consistent bites that will hold for whole months uh, where you could go if it was like flat calm out to a boulder with some current and you knew that those bass were staging up there at this tide every single time and you had a window that was probably an hour two hours long where you would have a very good shot at a 20 pound bass but there's also potential of catching a 50 pound bass out of that same spot every single time you went there you're like i'm gonna catch a bass that's probably 40 inches but I have as just a good chance of catching bass that's 40 inches as I do of catching bass that's 50 inches. But on average, you'd get like a 40 inch bass. And uh, it was like so consistent for so long. And I was banking on that to be the same this season and it, and it just was not at all. And it was replaced by some of the most epic bluefish that I've ever seen. Some these bluefish were absolutely enormous bluefish that were I mean, the small ones were like 12 pounds and the big ones were, there was a few ones that, I mean, God, 
there's ones that were that we got that were for like 40 inches long so 38 was the biggest that I got. I was guiding someone that got a 40 inch bluefish. Like we caught some just absolutely enormous bluefish this season. And it was on a very regular basis. Like we would get bluefish that were like 33, 35 inches, very, very average. And uh, it just completely eclipsed the bass fishing. And yeah, did I have a few times where I had bluefish uh, I had bass hit, trying to eat my plug and then I had a bluefish come out of nowhere and steal it from them. Yeah, but for the most part, it was primarily bluefish that were doing this. And uh, I talked to a lot of different guys, guys that fished a lot or a lot older than me and fished for a lot longer and would tell me stories about like the bluefish would you know, be feeding very, when there was a ton of bluefish around, they're feeding really aggressively. It's really hard to catch big bass on top water around here or just really big bass in general during the day. So that made the whole bite and everything a night bite completely. I hope you guys can't hear this, but there's literally, the reason I'm wearing a, a beanie right now is there's literally a hurt or hurricane. There's literally a snowstorm going on out here. There's a plow going crazy. It's insane. But um, we're just going to do our best and it's blowing 80 miles an hour. We're in a blizzard right now. It's ridiculous. So, um, I'm trying, I'm trying to do my best here to like make a good video, but anyway, back to the, back to the fishing. So the bluefish would consistently, hopefully you can't hear this audio bummer, whatever. We're going to stick with it. Okay. So sorry. Sorry if you hear the background noise. Um, so anyway, the bluefish were, just very aggressively feeding and it was a completely new thing but we had almost zero action and i mean zero action when it comes to big bass on top water this season i remember during the summer the fall was a completely different story and in its own class entirely but during the summer it was just completely dead you could have the best conditions imaginable you could throw all the best plugs and the bass that were there were just not there. Now, there's probably other variables that, that kick into it, but the biggest change, the biggest natural change was the fact that we had bluefish around for the first time like this in, the, in seven years. So that's how, in my opinion, the bluefish really affected our season the most was the fact that they may have taken away a lot of the prey that the striped bass were feeding on that in years past and they also maybe are more aggressive and are faster than the striped bass so maybe they got there faster than the striped bass so maybe you did have bass down there but then you know you'd be working your giant spook and then a bass would, or a bluefish would come up and eat it before the bass could have a chance so there's things like that that I think really did affect the the top water fishing during the summer really put a it really I crushed my uh, fishing this this summer like as far as trying to get big bass on top water which is one of my favorite ways to fish for big fish and also like one of the most productive for me as I keep saying so that was slightly annoying and maybe there's other reasons for for this like you know in a few of my best spots the commercial guys were in there like crazy this year and what can you do you know if they're just taking out all these big fish from your spot there's gonna, gonna be much less big fish in that spot. So I was forced more to fish at night this season. So it was, it was just a different, it was a different season entirely. But for those of you who loves, who love catching bluefish and would do anything to catch, you know, a 35 inch bluefish, which there are plenty of bluefish around. I'll tell you one thing, all you gotta do is go to a point and like a rocky point that has access to like fairly deep water by it and go there right at first light and throw either pencil poppers or spooks and you're you're gonna get into them i mean it's pretty amazing how the bluefish cruise a lot of the time but if you find a point you know that's good access to some deeper water and kind of follows the same rules as you know what you'd be looking for for big bass maybe there's some boulders out there that have some current breaks in them but the bluefish are always on the move so they're going to be cruising up and down those those current lines looking for bait but uh if you throw something like one of my favorites to use for bluefish is the cotton cordell, uh, like pencil popper. It's a very loud, noisy pencil popper that's plastic, and uh, the bluefish can hear it from a far away way, and you can get some enormous explosions on that thing. It's a great one to use. 
And uh, yeah, that's kind of what I go for when I'm talking about fishing for bluefish. But there was, I mean, just to put into perspective the amount of bluefish that are around this season, I was fishing in estuaries and I was getting bluefish in the estuaries. So I'll do a lot of guiding during the summer when I'm guiding kids or anything like that. And, um, or somebody that, you know, is just trying to get into the sport. I have a few estuaries that I know all season long, not that you want to really be fishing in estuaries in the summer, but all season long, these estuaries are chock full of bass from 15 to probably 30 inches. And you can go in there with soft plastics and you can just catch dozens upon dozens upon dozens of fish. And it's one of my favorite ways to introduce people to surf casting because it's a very easy way to, it's very easy for you to like get somebody out there to fish. And on top of that, you can uh, catch tons of fish and it's very active and it can be very visual because you can throw little top water, like little spooks and stuff at them too. And it's very active and visual and people love and kids love to have very active fishing. And when you are catching a lot of bass, it's always good because then that's how you get people hooked into fishing. And uh, that's been very productive for me in, in that way. But as far as the bluefish go, we were doing, we were fishing in estuaries and I was catching bluefish out of the estuaries. I mean, which is crazy. Like you'd go into the estuaries and they were smaller bluefish, but you're still getting them in the estuaries. So that to me is really shows you how, um, how crazy it is and how many more bluefish we had around this year. And I would, if I had to say anything about this season, I would say, I would definitely call it the, the 2021 season was the year of the bluefish for sure. And who knows what's going to happen uh, in the upcoming seasons. Uh, I think it really had a lot to do with the fact that we had astronomically uh, warmer water temps. And uh, I, I think that it just, the whatever the, I don't know, whatever the sun's doing is just warming the water up like crazy this past season. Um, and it, it was just crazy. I feel like, you know, it didn't seem like it was that much of a warmer summer. But uh, whatever, you know, it just seemed to really warm up those water temps. And we had high, high, I mean, I mean, I remember the warmest I saw it was at almost 80 degrees. It was like 78 degree of water temperature. And that was way off in a boat. So it's pretty ridiculous how um, the water can be that warm during the middle of like July. And maybe it was the beginning of August, but still it was very, very warm water temperature. And uh, I think that played a massive role in the bluefish this season. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little, you know, brain dump of why maybe we had more bluefish around the season and how that affected the striped bass fishing. And uh, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a like. And if you could subscribe, uh, that would be super awesome for me. It really helps me out. And I'll see you next time.